Honda may have the R, BMW the M, but Toyota now have the T. Now, when the Yaris was first launched, it caused quite a storm and picked up one or two awards for design and innovation. But the only criticism that you could possibly throw at it was that maybe it lacked a tiny bit of bite. Well, now the Yaris has kicked back with the launch of this, the Yaris T-Sport, packing a 1.5-litre engine that Toyota claim is faster than some of the 1.6 hot hatches out there. Is it just the thing to keep Mr Hammond happy? Well, he's been finding out. Toyota are going sporty. They're introducing their T-Sport range, which will be based on their current models, but each will look sharper, edgier, and with a better performance. And they've started with this. Yeah, well, I suppose there is a kind of sense in starting at the bottom, and this is the Yaris, the Yaris T-Sport, which is the bottom of the Toyota range. In fact, Toyota say that the reason they've started with the Yaris is not just because it comes at the bottom of the range and at the beginning, it's also because this is really the most radical of the T-Sport range. In the Yaris, we get a 1.5 engine specifically for use in this model. We get revised suspension and we even get stiffening to the chassis and body itself to make the whole thing more sporty. Significant changes that won't appear on most other models in the T-Sport range. The Yaris has always been a nifty little mover, and the T-Sport, thankfully, is not a disappointment. It handles very nicely. There's plenty of grip and plenty of power. That 1.5-litre is another VVTi engine, so it's more clever variable valve technology stuff, which means it's nice and easy to plod around town, but when you want to get a bit frisky, it's always willing. Then there's a whole raft of sporty styling changes. So obviously there's everything we see on the outside. Inside there's lots of touches of chrome effect here and there on the door handles, even on the leather of the steering wheel, on the gear knob and on the dashboard. It's still a very clever cabin. It feels far bigger and roomier than actually it has any right to be in such a small car. The driving position is a good blend between sort of mini MPV, but actually quite sporty and quite compact hatchback feel. Perhaps the best big car attribute that the Yaris brings to a small car is the comfort and ride. Not just because of the space around you, you really are convinced by that ride and handling that you're in a much bigger car. Styling exercises go. This really isn't a bad one. It succeeds in making the Yaris look pretty sporty. These deeper skirts help on the extra light, and I really like this revised grille. It manages to look quite chunky and quite aggressive and pretty sporty, and at the back it looks particularly dynamic. Mind you, around where I live, they usually take the wheels off before they stick it on bricks, but hey. Two years ago, Toyota won the coveted European Car of the Year award with its stunning little Yaris. For innovative design, clever packaging, good handling and willing performance from just a one litre VVTi engine. Not forgetting to mention an equally diminutive price tag, the Yaris was second to none in the Super Mini stakes. Then along came the slightly disappointing 1.3 litre version. And now there's this, the Yaris Sport. At first glance, there's the same smiling face of its older brother and the stylish European design. But it's under the bonnet and out on the open road that this Yaris will be measured. Have Toyota got it right again, or has the Yaris bubble finally burst? Like a tramp's pocket though, there's always a butt in there somewhere. And in this case, it's the price. You'll pay a premium of about 1,500 quid to get the Yaris in T-Sport form, which is probably fair enough. You do get an awful lot of extra kit for that money. It's a lot more than a stick-on spoiler. But it brings the total price to about 11,500, which is big bucks for a small car, even one as clever as this. 